Hi, my name is Andrew with Razorback Off-Road and today we're going to go over the installation of our brand new roof for the 2021 to current Razor Trail and Trail S machines. So to begin the installation, you're going to need a couple of tools. So you're going to need a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. You're going to need a half inch drive socket and then a half inch box wrench and a 7 16 box wrench. And we'll provide all the hardware that are required for the installations. So we're going to start out by installing the roof. And before you get to that, I would suggest if you have a friend or somebody that can help you install it, it makes it a lot easier. And you're also going to need to remove the stock roof from the machine before you put the roof on. So I'll go ahead and I'll grab the roof. And gently install it onto the machine. like so and you're going to basically want to match this front panel right here with the roll cage and that's when you know it's it's in place and so now that you have the roof on there we're going to go ahead and install the front bolts so we provide we provide um, these big washers and you're going to need the uh, 5 16 bolt and a flange nut and you're going to go ahead and you're going to put the bolt through the, this washer and then through our washer. And then you're going to go ahead and, in, and put it into the holes that are on the roll cage itself. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing to the back. And you grab one of these, one of these, and one of these. And I'm just putting it all in by hand for right now, just to make sure that we get every bolt in before we start tightening it. And I'm putting in the bolt from the top down and then the nut goes on the bottom. So once you've completed putting in the front and the back bolt on this side, the next step is going to be installing the, the roll cage bracket. And you're gonna use the black Allen head bolt, the black washer, and the flange nylock. And these are all quarter inch. And we're just gonna put it in by hand to start. And then later, later on, we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. And it, it's located right in the middle of the roof right here. And you're gonna have the tab facing inward, the tab where the slot's at, you're gonna want that facing inward. And you're gonna go ahead and put it right in the middle of the roof. And the bolt's gonna come in from the top. So you're gonna go in from the top and then the nylock nut is gonna come in from the bottom. Okay, so once you have all three of those in place, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now that you have all your hardware in place, we're gonna go ahead and start tightening everything down. And we suggest that you start with the front ones first. So you're gonna to wanna to grab the half inch socket and the half inch box wrench. And when you do tighten this, you just want to make sure that you go through and kind of do a walk around your roof and just make sure that it's centered before you tighten everything down and, and everything's evenly placed. And you're going to go ahead and once you get it in place, you're going to go ahead and start tightening everything down. Once you finish tightening the front bolts, you're gonna go ahead and, and tighten the bolts in the back. And since it's a little bit tight, it'd probably be advisable to have two half inch box wrenches to do that just because of the uh, tight area that the bolt is in.
So after you tighten the rear bolts, the next step is you're gonna now tighten the roll bar clamp brackets. So for that, you're gonna need the 532nds Allen, Allen wrench and the 7 sixteenths box wrench. And you're gonna go ahead and tighten those down on each side. So now that you have all the hardware tightened down, you're happy with where your roof is at. Before I conclude the video, I just want to explain a couple of the brackets that we provide for you. So we provide you with these two brackets and what these brackets are for, it's for being able to mount a light bar on your roof. We designed it this way so that way you can place a light bar in here. And we don't have any pre-drilled holes or anything because we want you guys to choose what light bar you'd like to put in here. And so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to measure and figure out where you wanna put it, and then you're gonna have to drill it out yourself. However, we do provide the hardware and the brackets for you to have the ability to do that. And so that's kind of just what I wanted to explain. And other than that, that will conclude our video for the installation of the roof for the Razor Trail and Trail S machines. And if you haven't yet, please check out our website at razorbackoffroad.com. Other than that, we'll see you out on the trail.